Sir Cancer, welcome to your reading for the week of uh, November 21st. I uh, wanted to thank everybody this week for checking out AstroJar.com. Received a bunch of feedback from a lot of the new readers and things, saying a lot of you were like supporting some of them and, and uh, everything, which is great to hear. That's exactly why we created the site, uh, to help people out. So thank you, everybody who's done that. Really appreciate it. Uh, but having said that, let's see what comes up for you this week of the 21st. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's been coming up as a somewhat challenging week for a lot of people. Uh, actually, you are not one of them, so uh, that's the good news. But let's see what we have going on uh, this week. Uh, you start off with the Two of Clubs. Very good card. I always say this is a card of uh, building a fire inside of yourself, getting yourself motivated, and um, needing to do things to motivate yourself as well. It's like a, it's a kind of a card of self motivation. I don't, you know, I mean, that's yeah. That I'm just gonna stop talking now. Um, that's pretty much all it represents. Uh, building, a, building a fire inside of yourself. Again, getting uh, yourself all fired up for things and staying motivated, especially like staying positive. You have the seven of hearts here as well. I mean, as most of you know, I am not a big fan of the whole, oh, if you just think positive, magical things will happen to you. I do not believe that at all. I do believe in positive thinking, of course, but again, I, you know, um, I don't think that uh, it's, you know, really all that uh important some of the times um and uh you know i have a million stories where i could talk about how negative thoughts actually have motivated people in a lot of ways and uh and really what it boils down to is negative situations are what motivates people it's all about how you think about the uh the problem in the first place which i think is more important this card is more again it's a little bit less on the positive thinking side of things it's a little bit more on the side of you know thinking wow my situation kind of sucks but but how do i get out of it so it's about it's more of a card of thinking uh of a solution uh, and, and coming up with solutions inside of your head by asking yourself questions. Uh, so I always say this is a card of talking to yourself as well and talking yourself out of um, things. So a very powerful card, actually, and one of my favorites in the deck act as well. Um, so definitely a good start. Uh, next, you have the two of spades. Separating away from something, uh, it's been coming up for weeks for people. Just uh, I think people in general are just shedding layers. As I've said, every time I pick up this card, I, I think of an onion. So again, I, I just take it as like people are just kind of like removing layers and, um, and really kind of getting very specific about what they want in life. So again, a very exciting card, I think, for people at this time. Um, I think it represents a lot of that um, kind of transformational energy for a lot of you. Uh, next, again, Seven of Hearts, uh, needing to, to stay positive and think positively about um, the things that you're doing. I, again, um, I think that, that actually this week, positive thinking is going to be very important for you. Again, like I said, I'm not necessarily a big positive thinking guy. I think that action is more important. Positive action is what's uh, going to get you results. Just thinking isn't going to do anything. So um, again, stay positive and take positive actions. It's also a card of doubts. Um, it's funny because sometimes when I, when this card comes up, I think that it's like you could be thinking, you know, I could be sitting here telling you, oh, you know what, things are really going to change this week. It's going to be a big change week for you. And a lot of you might be doubting that, saying, you know, I don't think so. You know, nothing's really been happening and all this other stuff. So it can represent those doubts. But then when something happens, you'll be, you know, it'll be a good thing. Next, you have the Three of Hearts. Uh, three of Hearts is a card of emotional happiness, just being happy this week and having a lot of happy feelings. So I like to see that for you as well. Um, definitely a lot of like good stuff coming up here, a lot of um, positive changes uh, coming up. And um, yeah, to, to me, it's like that feeling of wholeness with this card, uh, feeling complete this week, which is really nice. Uh, next, you have the, the Queen of Diamonds, very specifically coming in this week as somebody who could be interested in you. Uh, it could be male or female. Don't get caught up on the Queen thing. Could be either or. Uh, and it could uh, be an Earth sign. I think Earth would, you know, of course, do well with uh, cancer in some in some circumstances. So uh, a lot of you could have an admirer this week. This is also a great week card for money, for you, for earning money this week and looking for new ways to earn money as well. Again, I hear a lot of you asking yourself the questions like, how can I change my circumstances? What do I need to do? And all of those things. Asking yourself, like I said, those very positive questions. Um, so 
this is a card of action and it's a card of doing those things and finally you have the four of diamonds so great card again uh could be new jobs new businesses um more money uh even if you're retired this could be you strengthening your retirement and things i think there has been a very specific message of a lot of people you know especially for those of you that are retired or thinking about retiring soon there's been this very specific message for months of of people actually looking at ways to strengthen their retirement you know maybe in the past you know we look up at a lot of people who are retired today and a lot of them are not in a good position so i think that a lot of people realize that and they're like okay what do i need to do to make sure that i have a retirement or that i can retire and won't have to, when i'm like you know 80 i won't have to worry about it so uh, you know i think a lot of people are asking themselves that question uh and again if you're younger or uh just uh, you know in a job or whatever this is a great card for promotions uh new um even uh, beyond a promotion, this is a card of just like feeling like you're locked into a, to a career as well. Like you could really feel very secure, um, and and that could be kind of highlighted this week for you as well. So um, also a great card for moving and traveling, by the way. So if any of you are doing that, it's a great card. Um, so yeah, it looks like an interesting week, I have to say. Uh, so thank you for watching and enjoy it.